Hello everybody and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast. What an absolutely glorious day it is today. The tide's out and people are, people are enjoying the beach. There's kids down there running in the water. There's a family down here set camp up. There's another crew playing at volleyball, possibly, something, I don't know. There's enough beach for everybody. This is the old boating lake, which is now the, the go-karting track and the, the cliff lift. So you kind of get the idea where we are. We are at the side of the Cliffs Hotel. And every video I've made today, I've managed to start it just as a tram has appeared. I think I'm, I think I'm going to miss the next one. So this section of promenade dates back to about 1910 the promenade between the the gin roundabout which is just down there just at the side of that building and king edward avenue which is where we're going today it was completed in 1911 and there's no piling at the bottom piling is where great big sheets and, and steels and things are, are knocked sort of vertically down into the into the ground to hold it and stabilize it it's so so hard and dense boulder clay underneath the the floor that it, it wasn't necessary there you go this is jubilee gardens that we're at the side of here which is a pretty little seafront garden and we're only a, a, a hop and a jump from north pier and all the all the delights that Blackpool has got to offer is the gardens. Looking very green and gardened, the waterfall. <coughs> so King Edward Avenue is this one over here and the, the promenade between here and Red Bank Road at Bispam, which is the next main, main turning right inland down there was built between 1917 and 1919 and the 100 foot high cliffs were a big problem I bet they were <laughs> and there's a 12 foot thick concrete wall sunk seven foot into the boulder clay and old tram rails were used to shore it up with many water outlets included because all the way along here there are, there are natural streams and, and culverts and ditches and drains and all the rest of it that that all drain the, the surface water from inland it's just made me jump did you see the, the camera go up in the air so I'll cross the road and I'll rejoin you in a moment oh there's the tram I knew we'd catch one these old buildings <coughs> are absolutely beautiful though I mean just look at that detailing in that faience stonework it's just it's just amazing so you know what I'm going to start saying now don't you that if you're booking a holiday book with the visit file coast and stay blackpool guide so here's one here's one before we've even got a hop and a jump along King Edward Avenue Beach Cliff Lodge Apartments I have to say they look very nice and their Visit Britain, I think they're three star looking at the looking at the sign down there. Let's just pop across and have a look. Let's have a closer look. They look very nice. Three star apartments. And when you book with a property that is accredited and, and assessed you know that you're going to get something very nice. That looks very nice. That looks very nice indeed, I have to say. There's nothing like self-catering and then you can come and go and do what you want as you please. So these, these properties on King Edward Avenue were all built originally as holiday accommodation. Um, so so make sure when, you, when you're looking for somewhere to stay that you have a look at the accommodation guide on look at that window that's beautiful the accommodation guide on the visit file coast website 
with the um, Stay Black Pool members listed on it. I don't know where to look. You, 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 it's amazing what you see when you actually get out of your out of your car and go walking along streets. You just see so much more. It's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous these old buildings, and it's so convenient as well for the for the seafront and the tramway and the buses and. All the stuff in Blackpool. And I think if we turn right, oh, it's just out of shot, that's a shame. Blackpool Tower will be that way slightly, won't it? That's, that's Gin Roundabout, where the properties are facing us. So there's quite a few, quite a few properties scattered scattered around down here. All for a, a nice home from home holiday. So Langtrees, across the road, is a stay Blackpool one. The Hearts Head on this side here, this, this green one, is one. Penryn, next door to Langtrees. And the Blackpool Jean Martin Hotel. Now the first thing I thought was, who was Jean Martin? And then the Ber Berwick, Ber Berwick, Berwick. <laughs> um, is famous all in its own right and we're gonna we're gonna go and have a look in there actually because you'll see that he's got a blue plaque next to the door and this was actually where Jaguar car started. You see you didn't know that did you? But if you subscribe if you subscribe and you get notifications you'll know when we've uploaded that video so we're going to do that one separately in a moment. And King Edward Avenue continues to the end of there. Can't see the tower, can we? That's a nice one, right, for property development. These are beautiful big properties. They're really lovely inside. And there's just, there's just accommodation everywhere you look. Don't necessarily mean holiday accommodation, but loads of um, houses. I'd love to know where everybody works. I've often thought that. So there you go. That's King Edward Avenue. It's a, it's a very nice, um, very pleasant place to stay. So I would, I would strongly recommend that you Oh, there's the siren. <laughs> Not heard one of them for a few days. <laughs> I would strongly re recommend that you have a look at the Stay Blackpool Guide on Visit Falk Coast and choose your holiday from there. And if you do, don't forget to mention that you saw it here. So I hope you've enjoyed that little look around. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and we will see you next time. Bye for now.